He was the greatest shortstop that ever lived. Many people say that, and he's even in the Baseball Hall of Fame. The infamous game that we see in the production is the 1909 World Series where he played opposite Ty Cobb. And Hannes was a very kind, gentle man, but he was uh, kind of awkward in stature. He himself was very tall and kind of lanky, but he used his what maybe some people might think were weaknesses mm -hmm. in baseball to his strength. Hannes says something to the effect of there's the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do, but nobody can really, you know, tell you what to do. You've got to kind of figure it out for yourself. I think the morality behind it is really important. You know, Joey finds this baseball card and he has to make the choice of what does he do with it? It's worth a lot of money. Does he keep it for himself? Does he give it back? It's so magical and so special. How does she share that with people? And making those decisions is really important. I think it also is an important show because it, it reflects on a child learning their place in the world. Well, because of the fact that a lot of it is told through Joey Stoshek, the main character's point of view, it's kind of almost as if it's his own memories. And so when we looked at it through that idea, we decided to portray it in kind of an abstract form because just as if when you're remembering something or you're dreaming about something, you know, the, de the details are a little fuzzy. So we had done the same sort of thing with the style of the production. So for example, the baseball plates aren't the standard size of a baseball plate, you know. Uh, they're sometimes extra large or smaller and that sort of thing. That abstract concept is going to be pulled through in everything. The costuming, there will be pieces that will help depict the time period and what's happening, but you know, not every little detail will be a perfect set for that time or, or that location or that characterization. It'll be the general idea to put the point of view across. You don't need to have any experience. Some do, some don't. All you have to do for the audition is you get a reading from the script and Melissa will give you some direction so you don't have to have anything prepared. Just control that which you can control, be on time, uh, make sure your hair is out of your face if you have long hair so that the director can see it, and make sure you're listening while Melissa is talking, while the stage manager is talking, while I'm talking, and just bring your best self forward. Not only do they get to work on a production that spans from 1909 until today, meaning that costumes from then and now, props from then and now, the challenge of having to do that, not many productions that I can even, even remotely even try to think of span over 100 years, so that is going to be challenging for the crews to get to work on those different things. And even in the magical elements that Melissa was telling you about that, actors come and go, sometimes they're facing different directions, the lighting will impact that immensely. The electrics crew will be working on uh, getting the lights to bring focus to different areas on the stage, sound effects, because we don't have a giant stadium for the, for the, uh, the fans of the World Series. Sound will impact that a lot, uh, and costumes, like I said, paint, they have to paint things to look very unique and special because it is going to be so abstract. So that'll be a fun challenge there. This show is definitely, for the crew, focused and they have to be very specific, but it's so unique because it's over a wide range of time. For participating in one of our productions, you get to be part of something larger than yourself. So there's going to be a team, if you will. A team. A team. A la baseball. <laughs> it's actually this time we actually have, they are a team.